Now then, it's a supernatural story we followed for years on this morning after medium Amethyst Realm fell in love with her ghost fiance, Ray. You dressed in a very sexy negligee yeah. and you went into the spare bedroom and, uh, and uh, turned the lights off and waited. I waited and waited for a while and then I got a little bit worried. I thought maybe I'd scared it off by being too keen. Oh, OK. And then sort of just as I'd given up hope and was starting to fall asleep, it came to me. Really? You <laughs> had sex? Wait. You, you, had, you had sex? Yeah, I had sex with the so, ghost. With the ghost? Yeah. Yes. You've had these yeah. kind of encounters before Zayman said you're a medium, so why was this so personal? Why was it, the feeling different for you? Because um, I fell in love with it, I guess. Um, just, it's for one. We're hoping to get a hand fasting ceremony soon. Oh, is that like a marriage? Yeah, it's oh, kind of like okay. a spiritual marriage. Yeah. We were at Wookie Hole last weekend on a tour and he asked me to hang back just from the rest of the tour group and then um, proposed to me. Well, in a shocking development, the uh, ethereal engagement is now off. Oh. And Amethyst joins us now to explain why. Morning, Amethyst. Morning, Thank you Amethyst. For talking to us again. Um, let's, for anyone who is not, not aware of the story here, I just want to go back to what you knew about him when you met him in Australia. Um, and uh, what did you know about him? What was his job before he died? And how did he die? <laughs> um, I don't actually know how he died. I was told that he was possibly a sailor by a medium. Um, but didn't he talk to you? No, we kind of communicated through energies mostly, through energy and emotion, through feelings. So whose suggestion was it on the plane back from Australia that you had sex in the loo? Was that just an energy thing or did you have a discussion about that? <laughs> kind of, kind of an energy, I guess. Yeah. OK, so, I mean, obviously things progressed. And last time that we saw you here uh, on the show, you were talking about how much you've fallen in love and there was this proposal at Wiki Hole. So things were going really, really well. Where are you now? So now we've called the wedding off. Um, it was going really well until we went on holiday. And that was about last May. And then he just completely changed. In what and way? just became completely... So I think maybe he fell in with a bad crowd when we were on holiday. He kind of, he just started becoming really inconsiderate. He'd disappear for long periods of time. He'd, when he did come back, he'd bring other spirits back to the house and they'd just stay around for days. Like, yeah, so this was, this was, this was Thailand you, went, you took him to, wasn't it? He went on a holiday to Thailand. Yeah. And, uh, and so was there any explanation as to the, to the people that he was bringing back with him? Because you thought he got into sort of drink and drugs. Yeah, I think maybe he started doing drugs and partying a bit much. Cos, like, he used to come back and his spirits would stay for days at a time and they'd be, like, crashing and banging, strange noises. So, so when, um, when, you say, when you say he was doing drink and drugs, I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of people think, well, how is that, how is that possible? How does a, how does a, a ghost do drugs? Um, and, and was he partying in the spirit world or was he partying in this world? Well, I think partying in both, judging by the... He'd disappear for a while and then come back to mine, so... And so, yeah. you're used to spirits being around you, obviously. You've got engaged to one. Um, but having these bad spirits, as you call them, his new friends, this bad crowd that he'd got in, involved with, you felt for the first time what it would be like to have a haunted house? Yeah. Yeah, I've never had negative experiences with spirits before, but this felt pretty scary. There was, a, there was one spirit that would just follow me around the house constantly and I'd constantly feel his presence on me. There was another one that just used to leave a lingering bad smell wherever he went. And then just constant strange noises, things being moved. Like, okay. really breakups, uh, breakups are never easy. Uh, so um, so how, did you, how did you broach the subject with Ray that, um, that, that you had to end the relationship? Um, I tried to talk to him and I gave him one chance after another and he just didn't change. So eventually I ended up placing black tourmaline around the house, which keeps spirits away. I did a sage cleansing, incantations. I just had to get rid of him as you would any other spirit, really. And do you miss him? I mean, he was part of your life and you were in love with him. Do you miss him? Of course, yeah. And um, and the family miss him as well. Your, I think your sister was going to be a bridesmaid at Wookie Hole, 
and, um, and, she and so she's, she's sad about missing the wedding. Yeah, she was. Um, she's sad. Ray's family I've had a little bit of contact with and they're, they're just sad about how he's behaving more than anything. And of course, I suppose he yeah. can't come back. If you've got black tourmaline all around the house, he won't be able to come back in anyway. It's like locking him out. Is she frozen? No. Cow. Maybe so that was Ray. Ray. That's Ray. That's Ray. That's Ray. We have met Ray before. Um, if we try and get her back, let, this is this is me chatting to Ray. And by the way, it was Halloween. So he's Ray. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ray, it's a it's a pleasure to uh, pleasure to meet you. Um, and um, obviously, we couldn't do a research chat with Ray. I'm, I'm not not able to ask him any. How can I ask him a question? You can try. Yeah. And uh, what what was it uh, about Amethyst that uh, that made you fall in love, Ray? What did he say? Well, um, he just said our connection. Like as soon as we met, we kind of just felt a connection there. It was really strong. Well, well you don't go. you think it's a bit spooky, though? It's that, that she's lost the line. That we've lost the line. I feel. Well, like we had, we had, we approached Ray. Um, uh, we're un unfortunately. Oh, don't worry. What that was Alison Hammond. Are you that joking? That was Alison Hammond knocking over. Are you over joking? Us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how big I am. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here. We oh approached Ray. We were we were unable to get a comment from him. Um, but uh, we think we've got Amethyst back. Hi, Amethyst. Hey, sorry about that. That's, That's all right. All right. No we uh, we lost you there for uh, for a moment. Uh, so I was just saying that you put black tourmaline around the house. So I'm assuming that you sort of locked him out. Now he can't. He couldn't get back in again, even if he wanted to. And that must also mean that you've shut any other future relationships out. Um, I'm happy, free and single at the moment. To be honest. Do you, do you think about that, though? I mean, do you think sort of next time maybe you'll think about having a, a more human relationship? Are you put off spirits? Not put off them. I'm sure eventually I'll be ready for another one. But at the moment, I'm just happy being free and single. You said another thing that fascinated me. Um, it's the fact that to ghosts uh, during these COVID-19 times, ghosts have to socially distance too. Do they? Of course, it affects us all. And so, what are they, are frightened of dying? <laughs> no, of course not. But I think they'd get ill, just as we would. So ghosts can get ill? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean... Well, it's always fascinating. It really um, is. Um, it really thank is. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. And keep us updated if you meet, if you meet anyone new, whether human form or ghost form. Uh, it's a fascinating story. Thank you. Aww. Thank you. you. Take care, Amethyst. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>